All right. So now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta, learn form validation by building a calorie counter, step 10. All right. So our select menu needs options for each of the food and exercise field set elements we created in the previous steps. We're going to use the option element to create a new option for each field set. The value attribute of each option should be the ID of the field set and the text of each option should be the text of the legend. All right. So now we're going to set the breakfast option as the selected option. Oh, we're, and we're also going to do that. Okay, cool. Whatever. So for this one, we're going to make some options. All right. So we'll start off with the first one. We'll go option, close option. All right. And this one's going to have the value, which is the ID. All right. So we'll say value, 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 value equals like this. And the first value is going to be breakfast, all right? Breakfast. And then we're going to do capital breakfast right here. Capital uh, breakfast. All right. And this one's also going to be the selected option, but we'll do that at the end. Let's uh, first, let's copy this uh, all of 46 to the end of 45. And then we'll drop it off one, two, three, four times like that. Now let's put the uh, selected on this one. Selected. All right. And we'll change this breakfast to lunch. Lunch. We'll go dinner here. We'll go uh, a snacks. And then we'll do exercise. Exercise. Then we'll do capital exercise. Then we'll do cap we'll do capital snacks. All right. Capital dinner. And capital lunch. All right. That should do it. Uh, we've got all these going on. It's already uh, selected at breakfast. All right. So let's uh, check the code. Nope. Options value. Value attribute set to snacks. Snacks. Ah. There we go. Uh, check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 11. And we'll see you next time.